Lean once. Chai. Ding ding. You know the drill. Uh -oh. Start of the As you ask. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Might have done it sooner. You thought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about... What was it? Not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness. I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Carry on, my friend. A vengeful berserker gravestone. But by the fierce, Sarosa's trouble.
is its connection to these spirits. It's a symbol of their betrayal, their cruelty personified. The sooner we are done with it, the better. If I can make peace with my blades. I suppose you're right. If Skofnung rids the land of these bastards, I can stomach its presence a bit longer. up with the Aesir, aye. Another of my spectacular failures. In capturing these spirits, seek redemption. I just want to send these bloody monsters to hell where they belong. Wouldn't exactly call it redemption, but I know I'll feel better once it's over. Hang on a minute. Is this a prison? It would seem so. Let's continue. Might be something useful inside. This place goes deep. We should head downward. Ah, yes. I'm sure there's nothing especially dangerous at the bottom of an Asgardian prison. <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in Bifrost. If the Ain Harriar survived Ragnarok, perhaps some of the inmates did as well. Let us find out.
What's the chain do, I wonder? Recognize him, Amir? I do not, sadly. Of course, the Ainhariar disappeared a fair few dwarven rebels during the occupation. I suspect this is one of them. That's an elf, but not a particularly high-ranking one. So what did Odin have to gain by imprisoning them? I'd say information, but why keep them locked up afterward? Why not just kill them?
I don't know. A gardener, perhaps? Dream Shade is difficult to keep alive, even under the best conditions, but this... He gave all his strength to keep it alive. Then it is right. You should have it. Odin hid something here. <gasps> we should find a way to the cell on the other side.
Leave it. Wait, that can't be. Lord Tear. Is this an illusion? No, brother. No, I think it's the real deal. Namir? Is that you, old friend? In all the important ways, aye. There was such a commotion. If Odin learns what you've done. Odin is dead. The realms are at last free of him. You're safe. Odin's dead. And Asgard fallen. So the reign of the Aesir is truly over. That's quite a lot to take in. And you are? His name is Kratos. Kratos? I, I know that name. Come. You need real shelter. Food. No. No, what I need most now, I think, is to reflect on what you've told me. I need space, if you would grant me that. Very well. Our home is in the realm between realms for the moment. You can find us there when you're ready. Kratos. I know you from somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to me. Until then. to trust anything after what we've been through. But with Odin gone, I have no cause to doubt it. Our paths will cross again. Of that, I'm sure. <laughs> Now we know what this prison's for. This is where Odin stashed those he would camouflage himself as. Makes sense. If you're going to imitate someone, you wouldn't want them walking around. Why not kill them? 
He must need them alive in order to assume their form. Aye. Odin likely wanted Tyr dead for a multitude of reasons. But he knew Tyr would be more useful alive. Your god of war has truly returned. What now? He'll want to stretch his legs, I imagine. Imprisonment stokes wonderlust. Not that I need to remind any of us of that. Just called himself one because he killed the previous king. Someone you knew. Aldis. A kind man. A trusting man. He trusted this usurper. This Rolf. No. Aldis trusted me. And, fool that I am, I trusted Rolf. So now you seek revenge. A dangerous path. You're one to talk. I am an authority on the subject. You would do well to listen. if you're not going to use it.
Atreus would be happy to know we've tied up some of his loose ends. Perhaps we should let Thrasfogar know. Perhaps. Tears were closed. And there's no reward for closing them, I'm afraid. We expected none. Well, then I wouldn't advise staying. She is a corpse eater after all. We'll be going then. Freya, do you mind picking up that story about your brother? You mentioned a giant had come to Vanaheim to teach you of the Bifrost. Yes, Gerd. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. Enough talk for now. Be ready. <laughs> Felt that one, brother. <laughs> 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 Look out! 
Freya, returning to the story of your brother, you said he made it his mission to find the source of Bifrost light. He did indeed. Old, prepare for a fight. From under the cruel, he dagger the cruel, Is it revenge if justice is served? That is a question you must answer for yourself. Back to Charlie? Yes. He's not going to be very happy with me. No. <clears throat> Charlie. Oh. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. But I can't stay. There's still things I must do. Kratos, I should look for someone who can watch over him. Permanently. Oh, a family! 
judge me. You, whose cowardice has left entire realms in ruin. Sister, I know the hate that burns you from within. I have felt those flames, known the comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred. Vengeance. You have to let it go. Yes, sister. Search for the Valkyries two winters ago. 
I can see the similarities, aye. There is one difference. With the Valkyries, you lack spite. Brother, I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't know the full tale. I know how it feels to be wronged, and how it feels to achieve vengeance. I would hope to spare you the disappointment. Aye. Ah. run again perhaps the huntress has a den yes follow the blood <laughs> fresh blood yes we're getting closer Mimir, now that we have a moment, can I ask you about your mission to Helheim with Hildesvini? Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he'd hold off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. And time to walk. The story will keep. little more to do than observe the mortals who pass through our forest. Enough. We will continue later.
Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, Stan. Can we go already? That's all of them. Congratulations. You saved the nine rounds from death by overgrowth. And you sort of saved my ass, too. No one's really business is false. That was not our aim. I'll take what I can get. A job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoskar when we've got the time. So this is where those tracks lay. Drake fed here. This was my fear. With a drake devouring the wildlife, this land will be barren in a matter of winters. Ah, some sort of cage. So it would seem. Return to the dragon's den.
Returning to my story, the Enlightenment-seeking Laird and his followers swore oaths to forego such distractions as women and drink. Mostly women. Old. We will finish later. out. Do not. is free of dragons. Maybe now it can finally begin to heal. It may take a long time. His berserkers were tough. Well, I've been thinking about what you said, brother. Maybe it's time to let this go. 
Slurping up a dead man's soul with this old sword isn't gonna change the past. It is good to hear you say that. But I plan to face him regardless. What? After all your lecturing on vengeance and spite? It is not wise to let a malevolent spirit wander Midgard. But I needed to know you wanted this for the right reasons. Huh. Appreciate the sentiment, brother. Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Here. Lady Seth, Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, Your Majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenir-Yar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Both the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? Where can we set up the Is that a Bifrost trail in the sky up ahead? More stragglers of Odin's army await. That was the last stronghold of the Aesir. So, Odin's oppressive ways have finally been. Are you satisfied? Yes. Perhaps the realms may finally find peace and healing. Shouldn't you be off killing gods? No! <laughs> There he is, Your the man. Your stats are returned. Better late than never. Incredible! 
The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough, but perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. Now, what else might there be to discuss? Rata Tosker, I'm curious. You said the tree had plans for you. What exactly has it got you doing? What do I not do, my decapitated delight? I overlook and maintain the stability of the realms, ensure that everything is running smoothly. And, of course, I tend to the world tree. I listen to it, make sure its needs are met. Do you talk to the tree? The tree does not speak in any tongue, but its intentions are clearly felt. Yes, I do realize how, for lack of a better word, kooky that sounds, but it is true. Is it saying anything right now? It's saying stop asking stupid questions. Bitterness manners. But yes, it is saying something along those lines. Until our next encounter, then. King Hope's gravestone. It's reformed. Yes, there's only one thing left to do. Ah! 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 
Sure, if that was justice or vengeance. The two are not always at odds. What do you intend to do with Skofnung now? I intend to use it. No! Don't you understand the legacy that thing carries? Not to mention the souls of evil berserkers. I will use it for good. That won't erase its history. No. But the story of this sword is still being written. Future generations will weigh its good deeds against the bad and decide for themselves. You've come a long way from when I first met you, brother. I have had good counsel since then, brother. Combination Forge. Sounds violent. I was right! Behind you! <laughs> <laughs> 
on what order we complete the challenges in. Two final rewards different. Then we should try completing them in a different order. See what changes. Ah! 
Careful, brother! You're covered in by <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
Yeah. <laughs> 
The steel yields to you. Gladly. It was said that Yari and Soma first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Oh? How'd they manage to reach Jotunheim? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. And the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somar had found it in each other. <laughs> 